And now, a message from your fearless leader, Lex Luthor. Tricks are fairies! So I've been playing Trickstars ever since the archetype first came out in the TCG. Uh, big fan of this deck. I've taken my Trickstar Wind Witch deck to regionals before. Um, you can check out the deck profile actually previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. Um, but this deck has kind of a new build. It's a 50 card build. It's pure light because I just recently got Photon Sanctuaries and I wanted to test them out in this deck. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. Trickstars allow you to burn, allows you to keep keep kind of po poking at your opponent. And then cards like Hippo Shinigan powering up all your light monsters um, allow you to just kind of get over a lot of their smaller monsters and push for game um, but yeah it's a really fun deck and let's get right into it we run one two level one trick star nightshades uh, this card is awesome it, what if it's used for link material for a link summon of a trick star monster it can special summon itself from the graveyard so that is alone is really powerful um, you get this card out get trick star bloom out and then you can obviously go into link two um, so it's awesome having nightshade uh, i recommend only two i don't know if you should go for three but they're really awesome to just have and get out quickly Up next, one Trickstar Lilybell. Uh, this is the level two, or one of the level twos of the deck. Uh, you can special summon this card if it's searched, plus it can attack your opponent directly. Um, so having this plus Light Stage out is really powerful because that's immediately going to be a thousand points of damage. And sometimes after your turn and your opponent's turn, that's all you need to do because they've been burned so much. Um, the second effect of Lilybell returning a monster from the graveyard to hand really helps too. Usually that's Licorice. Um, unfortunately, Firewall Dragon is gone, so that classic combo is now banned. Can't really do that too much anymore. Um, um, but you can still get it off once or twice. Um, I think actually Machuka in our last regionals, it happened to him. So um, it was kind of funny to see that because he thought he couldn't do it anymore because Firewall Dragon was gone. But you can always do it once. So one Trickstar Lily Bell. One, two, three Trickstar Mandrakes. Uh, this card's really powerful again. Special uh, special summons itself by discarding from the hand. Um, I run card destruction in this deck. I run Galaxy Soldier. A uh, black Trickstar Black Cat Bat also allows you to discard Trickstar monsters. So there are lots of ways to get this card on the field relatively quickly. Um, it also has a second kind of bonus effect where if it's sent to the graveyard as a link material um, of a link uh, link summon of a Trickstar monster, you can target one monster an opponent's link monster points to and destroy it. Very situational, but kind of a cool bonus. Uh, this is a 50 card deck again, so if you want, you could take this down to two, but I wouldn't recommend going lower than two. Three Trickstar Mandrakes. One, two, three Trickstar Licorice. One of the MVPs of the deck. Uh, this is from when Trickstars first came out in Code of the Duelist. Um, you had to have three of these. You had to have Candina. Uh, this card can special summon itself by returning a Trickstar monster to hand. Um, it's 1,600 attack, 1,200 defense, so not that powerful. But the fact that it can burn every time your opponent adds card to his hand is super powerful. Get this card out. Get card destruction out, which is great. Um, then you can use some of the other Trickstar cards to special summon off that effect damage you did as well. Um, plus, having card destruction in the deck is helpful because now you can have your opponent draw some cards through some of the Trickstar link monsters, especially Trickstar Bloom, and then your opponent will be taking damage on your turn, which is kind of new for Trickstars, so you don't actually have to wait for them to go. Um, so I love three Licorice, highly recommend it. The other MVP of the deck is one, two, three Candida, uh, Candina, excuse me. Um, this is the searcher of the deck. You grab her, use her to grab out Trickstar Reincarnation. Um, use her uh, to start dealing some damage. Your opponents are activating spells and traps with her secondary effect. So really cool card, MVP of the deck. Um, the one thing to note about this card is this is the one card you don't want your opponent to ash. Uh, if they ash Light Stage, that's okay if you still have this. But this is the one that gets you access to any Trickstar card in your deck. Light Stage is only for monsters. Um, so Candina does really help in the deck. She has a level four. I don't run any rank fours, but keep that in mind if you want to kind of switch that up a a little bit. Um, so love me some Trickstar Candina. <laughs> one, two, Narcissus. Uh, one hollow, one common, unfortunately. Um, but if your opponent takes effect damage, you can special summon this card. So usually you're going to do that on your opponent's turn, but with cards like Trickstar, I forgot the name, Trickstar... Devardis, this bad boy right here, um, you can have your opponent take some damage on your turn. Uh, Licorice and Card Destruction also allows that too, like I said earlier. So Trickstar Narcissus uh, is just an extra good extender to get another card in the field. Two Narcissus, one, two, three of the newer cards, Trickstar Carabane. Um, I love this card. It's a Cyber Dragon of the deck. It's the Honest of the deck. It's kind of the Apprentice Illusion Magician of the deck as well. Um, it just allows you to Special Summon. You can Tribute itself as well to double a Trickstar's Monster's original attack. Um, so really, really cool card to have in the deck. It's also a great extender. You, you can get, can get this off of Candina too, which is sometimes how you can start some of your bigger plays. 
One, two, three galaxy soldiers. So we're moving away from the trick stars now, but we're still sticking with light monsters. Uh, galaxy soldiers, awesome. Discard a trick star monster to get that card in the graveyard if you need, or discard the trick star mandrake to special summon it. Um, but I love galaxy soldier and it's just nice having 2000 because with hit pushing again, it just powers it up even more powerful. And you can kind of push a little bit with that as well. Um, the, we also run a Constellar Pallades in this deck, you'll see you later. Um, and having this as well as Trickstar Carabine uh, allows you to go into that card relatively easily. So, three Galaxy Soldiers. Three Honest to start the hand traps. Um, I love Honest and the fact that everything light is in this deck allows uh, anything qualifies for Honest. So, can't really beat Honest in this deck. It allows us to keep pushing. Um, and yeah, I mean, what else, what else is there to say? Any deck you can play Honest is always fun. So, three of those. And the one non-light card of this deck three Droll and Lockbirds. So the only non-light monster, obviously it's a wind. Um, I love having this card in Trick Stars because it allows you to obviously do the reincarnation lock. Uh, so that's super important. Um, but also just having any deck that kind of has a hand trap as a staple of deck is always fun to me. Salaman Great kind of has Ash, Ash Blossom because they're both fire. Um, three Droll and Locks is awesome because they go hand in hand with the combos of this deck. Um, so you could swap out Honest if you want, but definitely leave three Drone Locks. It's the best hand trap in this deck, and plus it's just a general hand trap that'll work great. All right, so let's move on to the spells. We're going to start with the field spells. One, two, three, Light Stage. Uh, again, this is one of those cards that came out in Code of the Duelist. Super powerful card in this deck. Can lock your opponent's back row from being activated, and then they have to activate it during the end phase. So if they have any sort of Solemn, that's not going to help them. Um, plus, it allows you to search and start your plays. Um, so, you want to get this card out, you want to get Candina out, just to start kind of searching on and get your combos going. Plus, the fact that stacks the 200 damage on everything really helps, because if you're doing five things on your turn, that's going to be an extra thousand points of damage to your opponent. So, anything that helps in the Trickstar deck to burn is really powerful. Three of those. One, two, I'm sorry, one Light Arena and one Live Stage. Uh, so, these are cards, are any extra Field Spells cards in the deck? Light Arena, not that good. Um, if you special, if you link summon, you can special summon a trickster monster from the graveyard, um, but also does that locking thing that Light Stage does. Live Stage is a little bit more of an extender. You can special summon a token. When you have Holly Angel on the field, you can special summon that token to deal damage to your opponent. So Live Stage does help a lot. Um, then to find these cards, we run two terraforming and one set rotation. So the set rotation is why I'm running one life stage and one light arena. Ideally, you want to give your opponent light arena because it doesn't really hurt you. At, or hurt, it doesn't hurt to give them any benefits of getting any, links, any trick star monsters on the field from the graveyard unless you're playing a mirror match. Um, and the locking effect doesn't really hurt too much because you're only really playing reincarnation for the traps. So you're not going to get locked too much and have to worry about that. Uh, you don't want to give them a live stage, though, because they can special summon a token, and they can link that away for something powerful. Um, but that's kind of it for the field spells and the field spell support. We run one Trickstar Fusion. Uh, this is just kind of the fun bonus card. It's kind of like the Aya Tamias in Dark Magician. Uh, this is just, if you have it, awesome. If you can, if you don't have anything else to search for and you can grab it, awesome. Just to get the Trickstar Fusion monster onto the field. Um, the Fusion monster itself is a powerful card to have, but it's not essential to the deck. It's not the win condition. So we only run one Fusion. Then the aforementioned card, three Photon Sanctuaries. So get these guys out, get Hippo Shinengen out. I also run one Nightmare Griffin. So if you want, you can use those to get into Nightmare Griffin pretty easily too, which is cool. And it's light, so it helps with that synergy as well. Um, but three Photon Sanctuaries, uh, this is kind of what, what started me having the ideas of the deck. I was like, how can I build a Trickstar deck that's pure light that can still take some cool advantage of not just burning and kind of push a little bit too. Um, so three Photon Sanctuaries. Three chain summoning. So this is from the OG Trickstar build back when you were just trying to burn, burn, burn. Uh, chain summoning is awesome when you have Candina and Licorice, or really just Licorice and any other card, because uh, you can activate an effect, use Licorice's quick effect, and then you're instantly into chain link three for chain summoning to go on field. Uh, you want Candina though, because then you can just keep searching. Uh, search, play Candina, search a Licorice, bounce it back with the Licorice to search, play another Candina, search a Licorice, bounce that Candina back, get your third one, and then get that card for whatever you need. But now you have a board full of Licorices, so if you reincarnation them, they're going to take a bunch of damage. Um, plus, you can start linking away into some of their powerful link monsters, which we'll get into shortly. So, three chain summoning, one card destruction. Uh, super awesome card to have in the deck. Just burn your opponent on your on your feet on your turn. Do all your plays. Have this one card. Let them draw from Trickstar Bloom and just burn them. Um, I have the OG Magic card from uh, Starter Deck Yugi. This is actually like my one of my first ever Yu-Gi-Oh cards I ever had, and I still have it, which is awesome. Um, so one card destruction. One one for one. This helps you get out Trickstar Nightshade here. 
Um, so discard probably Trickstar Mandrake, get Trickstar Nightshade, and then Mandrake can be special summoned. Her effect is an if, so it's not gonna miss timing too, which is great. So one, one for one. Two Pot of Desires. Um, it's a 50 card deck, so you could bump this up to three if you wanted to. Um, I don't like desiring into another Desires, and this deck doesn't really need a whole lot of draw power because it has a whole lot of searching mechanics. Um, but if you want to bump up three, if you want to take these out, feel free. But two Pot of Desires, I like them. I like them a lot. And then one, two Cosmic Cyclones. Um, again, one common and one secret. I feel like I bumped this guy up. Um, but Cosmic Cyclone is awesome. Um, one of my favorite spell and trap removal. You might want to bump this or change this to um, Twin Twisters or bump it up to three and add a Twin Twisters if you want. Um, just because Twin Twisters allow you to discard. Again, if you're playing three Mandrakes, the more discard opportunities, the better. Um, but there are some Trick Stars monsters you don't want in the graveyard. So I like Cosmic Cyclone and playing it safe. Plus, you're always an advantage in terms of uh, life points with your opponent. So sacrificing 1,000 or 2,000 life points to get rid of a card on the field and banish it, uh, especially uh especially get rid of it completely so it's got no graveyard effects and it can't be recurred to their hand or anything. Um, it's not bad. So two Cosmic Cyclones. And that's it for the spells. It's a pretty spell-heavy deck. And then we run one, two, three Trick Target Reincarnations for the trap. Um, this is the card that allows you to banish your opponent's hand. It's a card that special summons a Trick Star from the grave into the field. Um, so really powerful card in the deck. I mean, you should probably know what this card is. People hated it for a long time. The one thing I'll say here is if you want to bump up the trap allotment, it's not a bad idea, especially if you want to side it in, because if you're playing this deck and someone knows what you're playing immediately, they're going to take out your back row. Because you have a set back row, they're either going to know it's Cosmic Cyclone or Trickstar Reincarnation, especially because you're not playing any of the traps. Um, they might think it's another trap, for example, but you don't have any of the traps, so you're going to lose this card. So I was, I was, I was toying with the idea of some Mirror Forces, Infinite Impermanence. Um, Mirror Force is kind of cool because it allows you to just, you know, kind of stop their whole battle phase and you're guaranteed to go again, which is nice. Um, but Reincarnation, you're just going to need extra protection, extra backup. And poor Holly Angel, she's dead in this. That's everything for the spells and traps. Let's go on to the extra deck. The extra deck is filled with Trickstar monsters. Um, Joe said, Joe from Yugi Boom said he really liked playing against this deck because he actually finally saw a lot of these Trickstar Link monsters come out. But that was a cool little comment um, because usually you don't get to play a lot of these fun, fun, fun blue cards in the deck. Usually you're just playing for generic uh, XYZs, generic links, but now you actually have pure Trickstar link monsters. So one, two, Trickstar Bloom. Uh, this card takes a one level two or lower Trickstar monster, and then you can grab this card, have your opponent draw if you want, um, which is nice. Um, then if a card is destroyed by battle of card effect and it points to, um, you can inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each card in their hand. So this card's awesome because you let your opponent draw, do it again, let your opponent draw, then reincarnation them or card destruction them. So they're like all those draws are just going to the graveyard to banish anyway, so it doesn't really help them that much. They're going to net have more cards in their hand, but you're going to burn them for even more, which is great. Um, Trickstar Bloom is also great because um, use Trickstar Bloom, special summon from Nightshade, get Nightshade back. If you already had Holly Angel on the field, that's two special summons. And then, uh, yeah, should be good to go. Quick note on Nightshade and Mandrake, these two lovely ladies. Um, if you do bring them back from the graveyard, uh, or if you do bring them back from the, their effects, uh, they do get banished. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, don't don't be get, you gotta get, get rule sharked or anything by having these in your graveyard or if you don't need them. Um, but just keep that in mind that they get banished. All right, let's continue to link twos. One, two Trickstar Holly Angels. This is another one of the MVPs of the deck. Have this card out, start special summoning other Trickstar monsters, and just keep burning your opponent. Um, I have one of the new artwork, one of the old artwork. I uh, love Holly Angel. You might want to take this down to one if you're trying to get some more fun cards in this deck, but I like having two um, because if she dies, you can get another one out pretty easily. Um, so Holly Angels, just keep burning your opponent, and she gains the attack too. So keep that in mind because if you have cards that are activating, I'm sorry, if you have Trickstar monsters that are burning during your opponent's current point because they don't activate, um, you can have Holly Angel on the field and keep bumping up her attack and make her super powerful. Two Holly Angels, one Crimson Heart, and one Devardis. Uh, Crimson Heart's mainly there for the Mandrake play. Get her on the field, discard Mandrake, you can special summon her. You and your opponent can then both draw a card if your life points are, I think, 2,000 higher. Um, but either way, your opponent can just draw a card too, which is great for Reincarnation. It's another card like Trickstar Bloom, just gets more cards in your opponent's hand to banish and to burn them. Uh, Devardis is one of the newer cards, and I'm still figuring out the best way to use her. Because basically, you link summon her, she burns, and then you can kind of get some of your effect monsters off, like Narcissus, um, to special summon them. Um, plus, uh, she inflicts damage every time your opponent normals the specials. 
Um, I would like to figure out a way to have this card on the on the field more often, especially during your opponent's turn, so that way you can just keep burning and burning. But oftentimes I'll find myself link this card away for another monster. Uh, but Crimson Heart and Devardis, pretty cool link twos. Uh, one link three, which is Trickstar Fox Club Witch. Very situational, only really helps you if you're going second, your opponent's already link summoned a bunch. Um, I don't go in her that much unless I need to keep special summoning or get her in the field for the next, or I'm sorry, get her on the graveyard for the next big girl. Trickstar Bella Madonna, my favorite card in the deck, the boss card of the deck. Um, I'll, I'll read her effect because it's so amazing. While this link summon card points to no monsters, it is unaffected by other cards' activated effects. The so Dark Hole, Regeki, can't get over her. If this card points to no monsters, you can inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each Trickstar monster in your graveyard with a different name. And you can do that once per turn. So if you get her on the field and you also have a Hippo Shinogen to bump her up to 3200, that's awesome. Or I'm sorry, 3300 because it's at 3300. Bad math there. Um, but that is amazingly powerful. Plus, you can use her. You can use her effect to keep pumping her up. Plus, if you have honest in your hand, it's going to keep. It's going to allow you to have even more protection. Um, so, just one Bella Madonna. She's hard to get on the field. She's a link four, and she does give your opponent the space if you just have this one card in the extra monster zone. But she's awesome. So, one Bella Madonna. That's all the Trickstar link monsters. We run two Hippo Shinogens for the Photon Sanctuary. Uh, just power, powering all your monsters up by 500. Awesome. Can't go wrong there. Two of those. The last Link monster is a Nightmare Griffin. Um, this is a Link, a Light monster, Link 4 with two plus monsters with different names. So it does work with Hippo Shinogen. Photon Sanctuary allows this card to get out um, relatively easily. Um, allowing a special summon monsters to not activate their effects is awesome because Trickstar burning does not activate. Their effects to burn does not activate, does not activate, does not activate. Don't let your opponent tell you otherwise. This is just awesome because you can put this on your opponent, have a Trickstar monster, keep burning them while they're trying to get over it, and then you're probably going to get your turn back pretty quickly because this locks them down pretty hard. Um, so one Nightmare Griffin is really all you need for another boss Link monster. We run one Fusion, which we talked about earlier, Trickstar, Ban, Sweet Guitar. Just doubling effect damage, um, gaining attack, which is strong, allowing you to get a monster graveyard, Trickstar monster from a graveyard to your hand during the end phase. Super situational, but a super great card to have. Um, if you have any recommendations on how to bump the fusions up and how to make this card faster, um, let me know. Because you have to, the fact that you have to use a Trickstar Link Monster and a Trickstar Monster makes her a little hard to get out. But when she does get out, she does some great work. So just one ban Sweet Guitar. For the XYZs, we run the Constellar Pallades. I'm so happy I found this because I couldn't, I didn't, I was able to find this in my collection, but I just recently grabbed them again. Uh, two level five light monsters. Uh, once return, detach one XYZ material, target one card in the field, return that target to the hand. Um, and so it's just awesome to have this. Sit on some Trickstar monsters and sit on this because you already have kind of this way to get to get a bit rid of a monster, get rid of a card you don't want. Um, but yeah, a uh, big fan of this card. <laughs> Finally, a Nova and an Infinity for the Galaxy Soldiers. Um, yeah, if you can if you can land on a bunch of Trickstar monsters and an Affinity, it's probably better than a Pallades because it can negate. Um, but Pallades is a little bit easier because you've got Carabane and the Galaxy Soldiers to get out. Um, but that's why we have this card. That's why we have this mat out because we do run the uh, the Cyber Dragons. And if you can get it out, get it out. Hippo Shinogen plus this, that's going to be like, what, 20, 3100 with its effect of, of the XYZ materials? Or maybe even 3300? Um, so super powerful. But yeah. That's the entire Trickstar Light deck. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys thought. If you guys think this is an interesting build, please let me know. If you think this thing sucks, let me know. Um, I've played this a lot. I think it's pretty awesome. Um, I, I really do like the Trickstars, the light synergy, um, and being able to have a 50 card deck is fun because you have a lot of you have a lot of searching, you have a lot of draw power through pot of desires, and overall, it's just a really fun deck. Um, so yeah, let me know if you like it, if you hate it, leave a comment down below. Um, but yeah, Rockstar Fairies. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Superman. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs>